so I'm anchored here in the cove and beside me there is sophisticated lady and um, it's been really hard to focus sitting down below making videos uh, with so much fun going on and of course it's so hot I'd rather be in the ocean and go for a swim also uh, Rick have made a really nice uh, or Rick and his crew have made a really nice walkthrough uh, of my boat even though my aft cabin was not uh, as tidy as it normally is, but still okay. So I'm gonna put the link in the description so you can have a look. Before sailing back to the cove, we had a captain's day out, and it went really bad with Rick flying off his bike in high speed. This week I sailed back to the beautiful west side of San Andres. As the weather said it would be a beautiful week, dead calm, and I can't imagine a better place to spend some time with new and old friends. Prior to this Rick and I took our captain's day off, as Rick calls it, and I think it's a brilliant concept. He is like the best boy scout, always prepared, at least when it comes to having a cold bear available. Being productive in video production, not to forget boat projects and maintenance, it's really nice to just escape for some hours. Also a great opportunity to check if the swells have come down after the stormy days we had. And it looks absolutely perfect to move our boats around to this side of the island now. Cheers. Stop two. Morgan's Cave. Right there. Yeah, it's, it's really beautiful. Sorry? It's really beautiful. It's amazing. Horrible watercolor. Yeah. <laughs> Horrible. And this time I even got the chance to see what's supposed to be the unfinished holiday home for the famous Escobar. From one of the highest points on San Andres, you can get a nice overview of the anchorage inside the reefs facing towards east. A breathtaking view over what they call the aquarium and the lighthouse as well. Our happy captain's day is soon to take a dangerous turn into a pretty scary experience. As we were going fast downhill, Rick had angels carrying him while flying through the air, landing with his face into the asphalt, stopping only centimeters from a concrete sidewalk. Totally crazy watching this as it was in slow motion, and I was prepared to have some serious first responder tasks in my hands here. Luckily I could conclude he had been exceptional lucky after checking him for no fractures or broken bones. Only some serious beating and while cleaning him up to prevent infections, I could not resist telling him how beautiful he would look like tomorrow. Uh, pays to have a first class paramedic on hand. Oh, is he still recording? Yes. After making sure Rick was okay, I went to the airport picking up my package that has been on its way from Norway. UPS is definitely not the fastest and easiest way to get things in here. But finally my phone arrived and all I need to do is getting all the apps installed and I can access my banking again. Electronic ID is something that can be challenging being far from home, but thankfully I have good friends home helping me out. I really enjoy being anchored in the city center with lots of people and everything you need in walking distance. However, being here also includes fast boats, sometimes passing a bit close. So if I can choose going to the other side, it's really appreciated, as I then can swim safely off my boat again. To my port side you can see the reef I showed you from our captain's day off tour. And also passing the lighthouse where we celebrated Rick's birthday.
It's such a short sale. I almost spend more time wrapping things together again. But then again, I'm a sailor and enjoy the silence and sound from the ocean. It's lots of dolphins here, but sailing way too slow this time, as dolphins are normally not interested to play with B3 unless I sail faster than 8 knots. The colors and the water quality here reminds me so much about Greece that I still miss now and then. So San Andreas is a good substitute with just as friendly people. With rising temperatures and no breeze, the only place is to be in the water. So when Alicia and Brian crewing on Sophisticated Lady asked if I wanted to join for some snorkeling, I was not difficult to convince. The water here has the same crisp clear water with white sandy seafloor as in Greece and almost as boring in a way. But maybe more colorful fishes and even sharks. The tiger shark attack here not long time ago is still in back of my head. But I try not to have this limiting me, and I know we are not on their menu. Several paddy diving schools make it more busy underwater than above water being on this side of the island. And you will see either lots of scuba classes or even something funny as surface air helmets on tourists. Even with regular scuba flippers, I have no problem freediving down to 10 to 15 meters, as long as I have a weight belt on me. And the look of the face from the underwater tourist being pictured in front of the Neptune statue was priceless. With some bread you will be popular around here, and the fishes will even eat from your hand. It's true what they say on the tourist brochures here. I do feel like swimming inside an aquarium. A bit touristic, but also a bit fun. This side of San Andreas is my favorite, because it's nature, wildlife and the more rough shoreline. And if you've ever been in the Mediterranean or more precise in Greece, you might see the parallels here if I just add the right soundtrack to these sceneries. My Greek feeling longing for tzatziki and uso disappeared as this tourist bus rolls in blasting out another soundtrack. San Andres is for sure a tourist island and obviously many Colombians celebrate their birthdays here. This song you will hear everywhere at least twice a day. Maybe it's the counterpart to Christmas Island and should be named Birthday Island instead. The bonus is happy people everywhere, so I'm not complaining. No matter where I anchor, it's only one thing that's more popular than my unicorn and swimming platform. And that's when my bar sign comes up. Having all of them out at the same time always bring fun time. And it for sure works here on this happy birthday island as well. Standing on the porch in the night, thinking how we used to be way back in time. In time. Barefoot on the grass, open skies. I can feel it every time I close my eyes. My eyes, yeah. Can you remember when we were young and free? Like queens upon a throne. Never surrender, we're having too much fun. Could feel it in my bones. I was never alone. 
on all bolts there will always be some pro and cons and a lot of questions i've received from you viewers out there is uh, why did i choose a deep draft and the difference between a deep draft and shallow draft and also regarding my dinghy garage and my swimming platform so i'm going to walk you through uh, some of my views on how i look at this uh, in my next episode I'm also gonna kill some myths again and even share some things that annoys me with my mass production yacht. Sharing some tricks that might be useful to know about if your kayak or dinghy drifts away from your boat. So make sure to hit the notification bell not to miss this one. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, if you haven't already, I would be very happy to see you subscribe. Um, yeah, then I guess it's not much more to say than uh, stay safe, all the best, take care, cheers!